Where's Grayson? That was fun. Peek -a -boo. I love Where's thing. Grayson? <laughs> what? Where's Grayson? <laughs> He's having so much fun. Ready? Where's Grayson? <laughs> we do it again. Okay, go underneath. Where? Oh, peekaboo! Where's Grayson? Peekaboo! Where's Grayson? Grayson's newest favorite thing. Do you want it on? He wants the lights on while sitting in the bathtub. Do you want them off? Then he wants the lights off while sitting in the bathroom. And he has me turn the flashlight on. This is so weird. I don't I don't even know. Do you need help? We're swinging. Jason's grumpy. What else is new? I don't know if he'll do it, but he has a new way of showing me that he wants underdoggies. He's so sassy, he'll point behind him. Like, get back there. Like that. He says, get back there. And then I have to go and give him an underdoggie. He's so sassy. One. Two. So even though it's like mid 80s today, it's actually super windy. I don't know if you can hear. And so it actually doesn't feel too bad, especially in the shade. We went on a walk earlier and I was hot, but the wind definitely helped. But I have been packing Grayson because he's gonna go spend the weekend with my mom and dad, with Grams and Gramps. And this is kind of the first time we've ever done this, like a weekend away. I mean, they've babysat him when we've gone on vacation and stuff, but. This is just like for a weekend. It's kind of nice, especially since they have the airplane. It's a half hour flight. So they're going to come and get him in a little bit. And then they're going to take him in the airplane back to Toledo. And then they'll bring him back Sunday. So um, my mom brought him a new suitcase that I showed in the last vlog. But I took some pictures of him with it after I finished packing it. So I'll insert those here. He's so excited. He loves it because it has monkeys on it. Two. Sorry, I'm giving an underdoggy. Three. So I'm just trying to entertain him before he goes. And it'll be nice to have a kid-free weekend with Anthony. So we're looking forward to it. Are you going to miss me? He loves to point out everything that he sees. Whether it's the cars on the walks that we take or the dogs that we see, or the fence, or the trees. It's a gorgeous day. It's gonna be super hot the next two days though. Good thing my parents have a pool. I think they're gonna take Grace swimming because it's supposed to be like 90s this weekend and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I think. What? Do you want, do you want out?
those fish? I just walked in from his nap and I was like, what's on your face? And I smell poop. Have you been eating poop? Grayson, that's a bad boy. No, no, no. Oh, have mercy. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your mm. nose. Where's your nose? Mm. Good job. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Good job. <laughs> teddy bear, mm. oh, good hug. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Yeah. Turn, 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 good job. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Good job. <laughs> That's good. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Oh. Oh, now he wants the hippo one. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. Mm. Oh. Mm. Now you want the teddy bear again. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Mm. Good job. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Where's your toes? Yeah. Good job. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Turn around. Uh, oh, did you find a duck? Uh, what does the duck say? Uh, quack, quack. So, yes, if you're wondering, that was real. It was not chocolate. That was poop all over Grayson. I came into his room. He had been up for a little bit of his nap, but I always give him a little bit to just, like, wake up and get ready. I walk in the room, and it smells really poopy. Yeah. And I was like, well, usually he poops yeah. after his nap, so that makes yeah. sense. Then I come closer and I see there's something like above his upper lip. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did he get a cut? Is he bleeding? And I get closer to him and I realize there's brown stuff all over his face and all over both of his hands. I get closer and it smells really, really bad. Yeah, he decided because he's wearing this outfit and it's a two-part outfit, it doesn't like button, he can get into his diaper. And he did. He got into his diaper and got into the poop. And then took the poop and ate it. Smeared it all over his face. I think it's all over his crib, so I need to change his sheets again, which I just changed his sheets yesterday. Oh my gosh. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew he was gonna get in his diaper at some point or another. And it's happened and so what do I do those of you that have had toddlers what do you do once they start getting in their diaper nothing you just try to change it as fast as you can I don't know this is the first time it happened but I don't want this to be a habit but on a lighter note we went to the zoo this morning to go to that little explorers program again um, and this time it was much easier to find them last and this one was about people that work at the zoo so they had different stations they had a vet station where they had stuffed animals they had uh, <clears throat> a bunch of trash and like a bunch of like toddler mops and brooms and things to show like the people that clean trash up at the park they had a, a ticket station for the people that sell tickets. Um, so it was really cute. Grayson loved the puzzles. And they had a pop-up book that he really liked. And then they also had this station that had just like a bucket full of 
corn and rice and then they had like a bunch of little like cups and bowls and things that you could play in it and he just sat there for like a good 10 minutes and played with it like it was amazing I'd never seen him like so entertained by something so he loved it and we were there for about an hour but man it is so hot I think it's supposed to be a high of like 91 92 today um, so the Columbus city schools closed today because some of their, um, some of their schools don't have air conditioning and so it's too hot. Yeah. For them to be in school. Grayson is reading this Palm Sunday donkey book that he's obsessed with. So they closed, um, but I figured, oh, we'll go in the morning and it won't be too bad. And then once it gets really hot, like we'll leave. Well, we were there and it was like 1030 in the morning and it was already like almost 85 degrees. Like that's how hot it is. And this heat wave just keeps going. It's been like this all week and last weekend and it's supposed to go through the week now. I thought today would be the last day, but no, tomorrow's supposed to be 90 again. And I'm like, well, I don't have any plans tomorrow. Like, we have, well, we have his um, gymnastics class in the morning. But, like, I figured yesterday we did uh, story time in the morning. And then we went to the grocery store. And he took a really good nap. So we were, like, totally good there. We didn't go outside at all. Today we need to go to Target. I want to get some things for Anthony's birthday coming up. So we are good there. And then, this like, this morning we were at the zoo or before it got too hot. Well, tomorrow we have his gymnastics class in the morning. But that's it. We don't have anything else plan for the afternoon. I don't have any shopping I need to do or anything. So what am I supposed to do in 90 degree weather? I don't know. I'm just really sick of this heat. I have him in a pro bro tank. It's October 1st. Yeah. So anyway, but we had a great time this morning. Gray loved it. Kept him busy and entertained. And the zoo's only like 10 minutes from where we live. So it's really nice that we're so close. But man, was it hot. We're going to go again next week, and I'm hoping by then it will be much cooler out because I just can't do it with this, with the heat. I can't. But we're just chilling out. Felix is surveilling. I need to go see if there's any poop on the uh, cheats. Is that the yellow E? Where's the, where's the purple O? Yeah, he does so good with his name puzzle. He's got all his books all over. It smells so bad. I'm glad you guys can't smell because it smells like straight up poop in here. It smells so bad. I need like Febreze or something. Also, Grayson is obsessed with getting out his pool floats even though we're not using those anymore until next summer. He keeps getting them out. Where's Grayson? Peekaboo! Where's Grayson? Peekaboo! Ah, you're silly. Oh, sorry, this clip was like super long. I didn't mean it to be that long, but yeah, we're gonna get a couple things at Target. I might record, I might not. <laughs> Look at him. Where's Grayson? <laughs> Peekaboo! Ah. You're silly an update. I did have to change the sheets because they had poop all over them. But Grayson loves it when I get his mattress and put it on the floor because he loves to lay on it. And he goes, night night. I love it when he pretends to go, night night. It's so cute. But it's so funny he likes it when I take the sheet off and I just have like the waterproof mattress protector on it. He thinks it's so fun. Like, look how short he is. Like, he's still got so much more room. I do feel like he is growing, though. I feel like he's getting taller. The other day, he got on our couch for the first time by himself. So, he's definitely getting taller because he was not able to do that before. So, he's growing. We have a doctor's appointment in a couple weeks. We'll figure out how big he's gotten. Where, where is Grayson? Not over here, not over there. Oh, there he is. Halfway under the bed. This is Grayson's new favorite hangout spot. He likes to lay underneath the bed in the guest bedroom. Is it comfy under there? 
He's so funny. I didn't know. Suppose I guess it's a party down there. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Uh, You're so good at that. Uh, yeah, and that's a lamp. Uh, you want more? Uh, Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No, <laughs> no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we didn't end up going to Target at all because he smelled so bad. <laughs> he smelled like poop. And I just couldn't get that scent out of him, so I had to end up giving him a bath. And then it was so late, I was like, well, might as well put you in your jammies. So we'll just go tomorrow to Target. That's okay.